I'm sure you've seen quite a few people with this style. They're lock knots. Essentially, you've taken the length of your locks and you've wrapped it around itself. And for some people, you secure it by just putting the hair through the loop. And for others, you use a rubber band. Either way, it allows really long locks to appear short and it gives a freedom to your hair that you probably haven't experienced in quite some time. But there are some disadvantages to this style. And we're gonna talk about those in addition to all the good things. So if you're interested in learning more about lock knots, Stay tuned. Y'all, I done had this style in for, I would say a little bit over a week now. And I really wanted to give this style a try just because I've seen so many people with locks that are my length or longer do it. And so I was like, there must be something to this style I have to give it a try. And I'll be honest, when I was first putting this style in, I was not feeling it at all. If you saw the post that I put on my blog a couple days ago, it almost was a no-go. I almost gave up. But I'm happy that I stuck, stuck it out and put all the lock knots in because I've really been enjoying my locks at a shorter length especially right now that it's winter time. It's like 20 degrees outside. So having my hair up, it's been feeling nice. I don't have to worry too much about lint aside from the pieces that tend to accumulate on that back row. You know, that tends to happen no matter the length of your locks, but it's been good to not have to worry about lint on all of my locks. I've also really been enjoying people's reaction to my hair because nine times out of 10, if you've ever seen me out and about, my hair is protected in some way, whether it's up in a bun, under a head wrap, with a uh, lock sock on, something, because I'm so allergic to lint that a lot of times people don't get to see my hair. So now that it's shorter and I can wear it out, Seeing people's reaction to one, my hair being green, and also seeing reactions of friends and family who've always seen my hair, but are like, did you cut it? What's happening? Like, what, what, what's going on with your hair? I think my grandma's reaction was probably the funniest to me. She said, what did you do to your hair? And I said, well, what do you mean, what did I do to it? Why does it look like that? And I'm like, how does it look? Because you know you always have to challenge your elders. She's like, it just looks so neat and put together. And I said, as opposed to what? <laughs> She's like, you know how you normally wear it. I was like, I think we're gonna end the conversation here. But it, it, <laughs> but it was truly funny just to kind of see her marvel in the versatility of locks. So, I say that to say lock knots do give you a lot of versatility, especially if you have longer locks. And it's funny because I just scrolled back when I had Instagram and they didn't shut my account down. I saw someone say, it's funny that we aspire to grow our hair really long just to style it in ways that make it shorter. So true. So very true. And so here I am with my first set of lock knots and for the most part enjoying the experience. But on the other side of having lock knots, just a few things, few points of caution that I would like to offer to you. Number one, sleeping with them is not that fun. Like they're like little knots on your head. So trying to find that sweet spot where you can lay and not have a bump in your head or just feel relaxed. It takes a while to get to, which if you're working out, let's say doing yoga or meditating, you typically like to, you know, find your way into Shavasana. It's not really that comfortable with lock knots, I must, I must say. Um, 
and showering because I've styled my lock knots so that I have like a little bang action going on here I've been having to wear a shower cap it's not it's not really fun my scalp my locks don't really appreciate that <laughs> they're used to the open air and the moisture from the shower so wearing a shower cap has not been fun and it's like I can't not wear a shower cap because soap will get on the bottom row or soap will get in the front ones so it's like we're back to shower cap days I don't I don't miss these days I can't can't say that I do <laughs> so it's also something to consider with the lock knots how the direction that they fall if you put them towards your face being mindful of makeup being mindful of you know that back row making sure you're brushing it or de-linting it at the end of the day because that back row does still kind of experience all the things the length of your locks used to the back row is kind of taking the brunt of it um another thing not really a con as much as a reminder with any styles but especially with curly styles don't forget to moisturize it's really really important to continue to moisturize your hair even though it's styled and so moisturizing my locks with the lock knots in i noticed that i had to use a little bit more moisturizer just so that i could ensure that it was penetrating beyond where the hair was wrapped and also making sure that i was sealing it in a way that it felt like i had a boost because normally i feel it but because it's all wrapped in there you know just it just wasn't the same and so what I did, instead of just my moisturizer, I also did a hydration treatment just to help get a little bit more moisture in there while I have the lock knots in. Not saying you have to, just a suggestion. But overall, I did enjoy wearing the lock knots. I'm excited to see what they look like when I take them down. Um, I put them in using rubber bands and I didn't use the, like, the technique where you push it through the end of the loop. I just wanted to have it have more of a curl to the end and not like a straightness. So hopefully that worked out. We'll see in a few when I take them down. And yeah, I, they've been fun. They served me well. Got to, you know, have short locks for the week. I'm ready for them to come down now. <laughs> so if you've been thinking about giving lock knots a try, I would highly encourage you to do so. I would say putting this style in is like, on a scale of like easy, difficult, it's about a medium. If you're interested in a tutorial for this style, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're interested and I will do my very best. I'll do this again. I'll do it again for you so that I can film it, show you exactly what I did, tips and tricks that I had or, and that I've learned. Because yes, I've done this on my clients in the salon, but it's a little bit different doing it on your own head. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in the comments below. I'd also like to touch on just really quickly the tightness of the style because if you're tender headed like I am, I'm super tender headed, I can't really take a lot of styling. And I will say that with doing this style, as long as you are mindful of how much tension you have when you're wrapping the length of your hair around your lock, it doesn't get too tight. But if you over wrap the hair, yes, it feels tight, you'll get bumps, you'll itch, it's not comfortable, you have to take it down and do it again. So it is tender headed friendly, so as long as you're gentle with your roots when you do it. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. But if you have any other questions, definitely make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'm wishing you peace, love, and goodbye.